All right, everyone, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. In this video, Kyle Busch Motorsports, Mr. Kyle Busch, the man himself, has asked us to drive his number 51 truck at Michigan Speedway and uh, get a top 8 finish. So let's try to make Sir Kyle Busch proud and bring his 51 truck to a top 8 finish. So uh, let's head over to Michigan. We should be getting about done with the hot seat offer. So anyway, let's head over to Michigan and see what we can do. All right, here we are at Michigan International Speedway. We are, of course, going to be driving the number 51 for Kyle Busch Motorsports today. The trucks are heading onto the track for practice, so I'm going to do the same runner qualifying lap, and uh, I will be back with you in a moment. Ran a lap that put us in 14th position, which is really, really good. So uh, let's get out there and uh, race on the fastest track in the NASCAR circuit for Kyle Busch. Let's see what we can do. All right, green flag is out at Michigan, and we are ready to rock and roll. I'm going to dive down to the bottom immediately. Kyle Busch Motorsports is, of course, a five-star team, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Our truck should be pretty fast. Once again, I did notice some practice. It wasn't really too tight, and now that we are actually on race, on track for the race, in traffic, Seems to be a little tight, so we might have to make a small adjustment. Very minor one. We don't want to do too much of an adjustment here. Let's take the apron. We're going to gain a ton of spots. That was a good choice. So far, so good. We are rocketing to the front of this race. Got to work on Austin Sindrick here for P1. We are definitely going above and beyond. Our first ever lap led in this career mode. We are absolutely pulling away. Just had to go a little high there because I went into the turn a little too hard. We are absolutely pulling away. And we are actually going to get our first stage win. How about that? All right, we lost a few spots. I decided to take two tires, got one can of fuel. Did a small wedge adjustment. Should be no problem. Here we go. Green flag back out. Two laps in, in stage two, excuse me. Austin Sindrick diving down in front of us. Looks like the field slowed up for some reason. That's interesting. We are going to charge our way back to the front once again. Get behind Peck here. I believe we uh, drove his car in the or truck in the last race. I don't remember. In a couple spots on the apron. Jump back in line here so we don't wreck. Oh boy. Oh, I went in I went into that fucking turn a little hot. Carried a little bit more speed than I wanted to into that one. Easy, easy. 
That is going to get... Oh, Jesus. That is going to get us a fifth place in stage two. We shouldn't have to pit anymore. We should be good. Uh, we should be good on fuel. I think we're all right on tires, so we are not going to pit. Here we go. Green flag. Six laps to go. Seven laps of fuel. Now, a lot of these guys probably did take tires, much like a... Uh, we took a situation like we did at Gateway, so hopefully it pays off. Probably should have just took tires, honestly, but I don't think we should have too much of an issue. Grant Enfinger with a block. That was a good move. He got down there quick. He saw us coming and got down there in a hurry. I think we're going to get him on the apron here. Yes, sir. All right, five to go. All right, here we go. We're coming to the line with one to go. We have absolutely dominated the second half. We're 3.7 seconds, 3.8 seconds ahead of Grant Enfinger. We have absolutely blown away the competition in this race and completely exceeded Kyle Busch's expectations. So he should be pretty happy with us. And just like that, we are going to win at Michigan. And since it's a hot seat offer, not technically a real win. But a win nonetheless. We made Kyle Busch happy. Here we are in victory lane celebrating for Kyle Busch. We put his number 51 truck in victory lane. That is, of course, Myatt Snyder's truck. And there we are in victory lane. Nice job with that top eight finish today. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next season. Thank you very much. Christopher Bell, did you just see that? Did, I can't even read. Did you all just see that? They called me T-Mac just won a truck race without a full-time team. Hashtag amazing they called me T-Mac. That's quite the fucking hashtag. Thank you anyway, sir. All right, week 26, here we go. Check for offer. No offer in week 26. Your results, John Hunter Nemechek won that race, so congratulations to him. On to week 28, the Chevy Silverado 250. No offer there. Uh, congratulations to Matt Crafton for winning at Canadian Tire. On to week 30, it looks like. And we get an offer on week 30. We could use your help driving the number 8 truck at Chicago Land this Friday. Get a top 8 finish. We might consider working with you in the future. Another top 8. So here we go. Let's head to Chicago and see what we can do for Nemco Motorsports. All right, here we are at Chicago Land Speedway. Of course, driving the number 8 Chevy Silverado for Nemco Motorsports. The drivers are heading off onto the track for practice, so I'm going to do the same, run some practice, and run our qualifying lap, and we'll get this thing going. All right, so we are starting 11th this evening at Chicago, so uh, let's just jump onto the track and get this thing cooking. Green flag is out of Chicago. Let's turn on our leaderboard and our mirror and get this thing going so we can fulfill our top eight requirement which I'm thinking is going to be fairly simple because it's a uh, five-star truck five-star team rather 
it's going to be a, um, a repeat of Michigan, more than likely, as we rocket our way to fifth position. Okay, Rhodes. Watch what you're doing there, pal. I should probably watch what I'm doing, too. Take that third spot away from him. All right, one to go in stage one. And we have made our way up to second position already. I think it's going to be a successful race. Truex up here. Truex is going to take the top spot in stage one, and we are going to take P2. Alright, here we go. No one pitted yet, so we're just going to go green. Back to it. I'm going to dive immediately to the bottom, cut somebody off, because that's just the way things work. Four laps. We're already making a move on Ryan Truex here. He seems to be a little bit faster than us. Oh! A little bit of contact there. I did not think he was going to drop to the bottom like that. I did not expect that move. Well, we're going to try to get him on the apron here. As we do. Perfect. Three to go. All right. Come across the line with one lap remaining. We are, of course, in first place. A definite repeat of the last race for Kyle Busch Motorsports at Michigan. Five-star team, so it's a super fast truck. We are going to pick up another win in the hot seat. Oh, wait. No, this is fucking stage two. I'm an idiot. What am I? You know what? Never mind. All right, here we go. Two cans of fuel, I took two tires. No wedge adjustment, truck seemed pretty good. All right, we're going green now for the final time, the final stage. We have nine laps to go. We've got 11 laps of fuel, so plenty. Oh, he's gonna get by us. That's what I get for not paying attention. Looks like we're going to lose some spots here. These guys are all on four tires, I'm sure. Way high and into the wall. Is that not going to bring out a caution? I guess not. Alright, that was kind of a messy restart, wasn't it? Of course, now that I say I didn't need a wedge adjustment, the fucking truck is super tight. Alright, making our way back to the front. Catching up to Cindric here. Alright. Seven to go. And there is a caution... We were coming to one to go, so now we are going to have an overtime start. And look at my fucking tires. This is going to be interesting. All right, here we go. Time for some NASCAR overtime. Let's see what happens. Got some pretty worn tires. Green flag is back out for a little bit of overtime racing.
We didn't get the greatest start. We could have had a better start, but... Managed to stick to the bottom of the track pretty well, though. Let's block that lane. And we are pulling away, even with worn tires. Uh-oh. Got stuck on the middle of the track. All right, here we go. One to go. Final lap, and we, of course, pulled away. Looks like the Michigan race. Gonna come around turn four here and pick up another, a second hot seat victory. Here we are in victory lane at Chicago Speedway. Picked up another hot seat win in John Hunter Nemechek's number eight. And there we have it. Let's celebrate. Nice job with that top eight finish today. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next season. Thank you, Nemco Motorsports. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, that looks like it's the end of the season. Scene is season finished. Now that the season is over, it's time to take a look at your contracts and sign with a team for next year. Let's see what we got. Contracts. We have seven teams available. We have Nice Motorsports. We have Martins Motorsports. We have Bolin Motorsports. Coke Motorsports. Austin Hill Racing. And Kyle Busch Motorsports. And Nemco Motorsports. So, I'm going to decide what I want to race here. And then um, I will be back with you. Alright, so I have decided to go with Austin Hill Racing for my Season 1 of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, a four-star team. Uh, I wanted to go with Kyle Busch Motorsports, but I think it'd be just way too easy. I'm going to switch it to Legend Difficulty, but... Alright, so we are going to be driving the number 99 Peak Antifreeze Toyota Tundra for Austin Hill Racing in our first season of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. All right, this says, Austin Hill is driven to become the next big name in NASCAR. While the ne NASCAR Next Program, Hill secured five wins and one pole award in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East, along with 13 top fives and 24 top 10 finishes. All right, let's accept the contract for Austin Hill Racing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's gonna do it for this video. When we come back, we will start our career mode. Our Season 1 officially kicks off in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, driving the number 99 Peak Antifreeze Toyota for Austin Hill Racing. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through